it's your boy King Brando. What's up, Brando fam? How you doing? What's up? Uh, yeah, y'all been roasting me, man. Y'all been roasting me, telling me to get a haircut, get a lining. Well, I'm about to after I make this video, okay? Uh, so today we have AJ Styles' most savage moments, funny moments, outrageous moments, whatever you want to call it, uh, for 2017, okay? Now, I'm really psyched because this dude can be funny when he really wants to be. So let's get into this reaction video. And hold on. Make sure you guys like this video and subscribe to the channel. And please, send me some questions and stuff that you want me to answer and all that. Like, just do that for me. Support, be a real member of the Brando fam and support your boy. Do what I'm finna tell you right here. Um, yeah, just do it for me, man. If you really, if you really a supporter, if you really a part of the Brando fam, you gonna do this for me, man. Let's go. Do this right now. What's up, y'all? Um, I'm going to put a time where you guys can skip to the actual video if you don't want to hear this. This is for my OG uh, Brando fam people, my OG people who support King Brando. Uh, I told y'all I wanted to do this a long time ago. Um, and yeah, I think I'm going to start doing it like whenever you guys start sending me the stuff. So, um, I want to do this thing on the channel where... You guys send me questions and stuff about life and like if you need advice and stuff like that, you guys send me questions through like the messages or you can DM me on social medias and stuff like that. You can email me or whatever, like however you get in contact with me. Yeah, uh, you can send me questions that you have about life and like if you need advice and stuff like that because I wanna I wanna answer them on the channel and I wanna, you know, give advice because I feel like, you know, it's a lot of times where, you know, we need other people's opinions on situations and how we would deal with them. So you can send me uh, questions and stuff about relationships and stuff, about uh, life, about uh, school, about anything. Um, and we're going to talk about it, y'all. We're going to have a dialogue. Um, and it's going to be lit. Um, and I'll try to make it as... You know, as good as I can. Um, yeah, so just, if you want to, uh, this is for the OG people who really, you know, support me. Who really, you know, uh, look out for me and really, really like, um, are really engaged in the channel and all that. Uh, send me questions you have about uh, anything, um, but not like personal questions. It's not like a QA, and a but yeah, send me questions. And, um, yeah, back to the video. <laughs> yeah. Freaking styles, man. Okay. That runs this place. The phenomenal one is here. <laughs> AJ, phenomenal. Check it out. I did exactly what I said I was gonna do at SummerSlam. Beat up John Cena. I beat John Cena. Oh. 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 Taking it as a, a souvenir. <laughs> Check it out. Oh my God. I, know, I forgot about this. He's amazing for that. That runs this place, you know? Oh my god. What do we have here? The guy with the sad face. Oh! That's Dolph Ziggler. Sunday didn't go too well, did you? Huh? And SummerSlam just, just wasn't your night. <laughs> Why? You finna beat you. Little worm. You finna beat you. I don't like losers. <laughs> <laughs> This the one, I remember this, this the one. This is his most savage moment ever, I don't care what you say. He finna go, knock, knock, knock. Oh, your own boss. If I, hold on, if I didn't already put this in the thumbnail before, I would put it in there again. You threw your boss through a car, okay? Through a freaking car. I'm still putting it on there, but I ain't putting that exact moment when you put him through the thing. I'm just gonna say you beat up your boss. You have to defend your WWE Championship against James Ellsworth. Oh, you're funny. Oh you don't get enough credit for that. You're hilarious. Oh my god. Thank you. This is funny. It's way nicer than a soccer bombs. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'm trying to, you know, Shade. I'm trying to get that shampoo conditioner endorsement. Uh, Are you kidding me? With that name, there's no doubt. Look at that shine. I am the champ that wins really? the camp. I am the unbeatable. That face that right place. Champ that's been holding down, smacked down a lot since you've been gone. Woo. 
and I know it eats you up because every time you've stepped into this ring with me, you know I'm the better man in it. We saw this in the other one. We believe but we ain't see this part. What these parents, what these kids think is true about you. Treating you, John. You want me to tell the truth? Here's the hard truth, kids. You don't get dessert before dinner. You don't stay up late before school. You don't get a trophy for participation. You get a trophy for being a winner. You get a trophy for being AJ Styles and beating John Cena. You get a trophy for beating up John Cena. It's a winner. Winner. AJ Styles beat John Cena. Beat John Cena. Beat John Cena. Where's my trophy? Where's my trophy? I am the elite. Oh my God. This is so be, funny. When I beat you, and then on Tuesday Night Smackdown Live, you come out to the world and you say, AJ Styles is better than me. Man, we saw these two before. Give us some more savagery. Don't jump. We need some more. You're a liar. We need to be like this. Oh my and God. Do, All that. You're a loser. Ooh. Loser. When that bell rings, I'm going to run circles around you, and I'll be the one saying, You can't see me. <laughs> because you can't beat me. Now, where do I sign? You're the face Ooh. that runs this place. What if AJ Styles would have been here 15 years ago? Wouldn't have been, well, it would have been the John Cena, but would have been tough. Would have been tough. I'll tell you, you wouldn't have been a 15 time world heavyweight champion. Said it best. No. No chin music early, blocked by the champion. No chin music, I remember that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, lightning quick. Attacked by AJ Smith. My dude. He went ham on him. Oh! You hit him on the ball. Oh! You better get Ellsworth out of here. This is going to end very badly. Nah. Don't do it to him. Ah, right, what you gonna do? Yeah, I need to know that. Oh! Styles versus Orton, and Orton deposits Styles on the apron again. Hmm. He should just turn it into an RKO, this phenomenal forearm or whatever. Phenomenal forearm. But he hits it. Oh! Oh! He's he wrong. He wrong for that. No, no, no. That's what you do. You're great on the mic. That's what you do. You're great on your little morning shows and your <laughs> late night shows and your movies. Not necessarily the ones you store, but your cameos are very entertaining. <laughs> Why? I Why does it do so funny? I know, John, it burns you up inside that even on your best day, you can't beat me. <laughs> you can't beat it's me. It's simple. John doesn't want to be in the ring with me because I would run circles around him. And my head. You have too I much going amazing. on. You look ridiculous. Circles around that dude. What kind of ship are you running here, huh? You had an I thought he was going to say that word. make things right. This is serious business and you should know better. I had to hurt this man. I had to put this man through a lot of pain. And that's on you because you had an opportunity to make it right. Had Dean Ambrose not been out there, maybe I would just pin him and got it over with. Rolled him up because I'm clever enough to get it done. Mm -hmm. But you, you couldn't make it right. You couldn't have a you know, serious World Championship match. No, you had to have Ambrose out there <laughs> messing with me the whole time, just like he did last week, and he embarrassed me. And that's on you. Oh, that's on me? No, that needs to bring you. this back. You embarrassed yourself. You're the one who wanted to wrestle James Ellsworth last week. Yeah, so I wanted right. that match. You got it, and you got it tonight, and you lost both times. Yeah, because you put Ambrose out there. Oh, you should know better. You knew exactly what you was gonna, what was going to happen. You're the authority. Hmm. Authority. You've turned in the, the authority that you fought against. That's who you've turned into. 
You remember dreams. those days when you fight for? Uh, you've turned into a man. That's who you are. You want to beat them. You're that corrupt authority. That's who you are. You want to make things right? Here it is. You can make it right. I bet you think this is a joke too, don't you? Oh, we right didn't here. have a game of participation trophy. It's a joke. <laughs> I got this from the last person I beat. And he's taking that from you. This is my trophy. You see, unlike this piece of crap, <laughs> I don't want you to hand me anything. In fact, he going to take it. That trophy over your shoulder? That's his. Will be the one I'm taking from you this Sunday. Oh. Oh. I felt that in me. Because everybody who knows, felt that in me. knows that once you wrestle John Cena and lose, it's time to get out the shovels because guys like you bury guys like me. Y'all see me doing the digging. Y'all see it. This and dude was speaking the truth. They're my insurance policy. They're going to make sure that AJ Styles' head stays above ground. I'm going to title this the AJ Pipe Bomb. Is this what you call quality entertainment? <laughs> is, is this it right here? The Ambrose of Solomon, the newest WWE superstar, James Ellsworth? This, this is quality entertainment? Y'all quality entertainment ain't so quality to him. Hey, Mr. WWE Supers, don't you realize who you are? <laughs> Chinless. You're no more than a prop to insult me. That's all you are. Chinless. Pipe bombs. Ambrose and Betty, you know, you'd be better off with a ventriloquist dummy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, you're about as smart as a dummy. About as strong, I'll give you that. But at least a ventriloquist dummy has a chin. <laughs> I'm dead. WWE I'm dead. Champion. I'm dead. You tell me at least he got a chin. And you know what? If it wasn't for me, AJ, you would have won on Sunday anyway. He calling you out. Do <laughs> you really think the outcome had anything to do with you? Don't you realize everything you've done here, everything that you have here in the WWE is because of Dean Ambrose? <laughs> no, that, that, that big dude. It's because of Dean Ambrose? Well, guess what, buddy? You've burned that bridge. And you've burned yourself. You see... I put you in a neck brace. I put you in a back brace. Dang. I beat you up. Dean Ambrose? Man, he doesn't know when to quit. You see, I've been in the ring with him. I know what he's capable of. That's the reason I'm in this boot in the first place. I know when to stop beating you. Dean Ambrose doesn't. And now you're going to see firsthand uh -oh. he's not going <laughs> to stop. Until he's caved in your face like your chin is, pal. They keep going on this dude chin. They, they need a whole video just off that dude and his chin. Just like, a, he's the chinless wonder. He has a move called No Chin Music. Who has a move called No Chin Music? I don't even know who does that. But AJ, you're just so savage with your stuff. I'm just going to title it AJ's Pipe Bomb, man. That's it. That's all I got to say. You a savage, man. So if y'all like this... Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, hit them post notifications. That's the three clicks. It's going to be a short outro today because I'm finna get my hair cut. I got to rush. Really sorry. Do that. Do the three clicks. Yeah.